Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, junk journal related projects and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. So let me tell you what my plan is for today. I want to make faux postage stamps. Yup. I did a similar project during the 100 day challenge way, way back. Um, and almost none of you have seen it. No. <laughs> so I'm going to do a new one today. Um, this project you can do in a couple of different ways. Uh, and I'm first going to show you uh, what tools you can use to make faux postage stamps. Of course, all of you know what a postage stamp looks like. It looks sort of like this. It has this sort of serrated edge or deckled edge, however you want to call it. And then this particular one has three layers. It has the white with the deckled edge or serrated edge. Then it has this sort of silver trim all around it, like silver border, and then the image. I want to use this sort of concept in my faux poster stamp. So it's going to have three layers. The bottom one, with the serrated edge, then um, this silver one, um, in my project, this is going to be black, and then the image on there, yeah? And the image can be anything. So let me show you what you can use to make these poster stamps. You can use, for instance, I have this punch by Martha Stewart that has sort of this, well, poster stamp shape. There are a lot of dies out there that can make poster stamps like these. I've ordered these on AliExpress. I like them. Uh, then I have a bunch of these scissors. Yeah, that have these sort of edges. This will work as well. It's sort of a zigzag. And this is really nice one for poster stamps. I am looking for a very, very small one. I don't have that one yet. I have loads of these. Never use them because I cannot cut straight for the life of me. Then I have this set. Yeah, that is an extremely big post-it stamp. It was uh, this set that I bought on, um, well, at Action, my local craft uh, supplier. Um, and it's a set of um, different sizes. I am going to use this size. It's big, it's like two by two inches. Uh, it has a nice surface to work on. So I'm going to use this. Use anything you have at hand. If you have some dice, if you have a punch, if you have scissors, if you don't have all of these, but want to make something with a sort of uh, deckled edge, you can use your tearing ruler. Yeah, why not? It doesn't need to be like really, really straight. As long as the outside has some sort of, well, structure to it. Yeah. So these are the tools that I'm using um, for the stamps. For the first and second layer, the first layer, I am going to use craft colored sort cardstock or um, a little bit heavier paper. Then for the silver part, I'm going to use black. Yeah, so I'm going to use these two. And then for the image, I'm going to use a vintage sort of images and maybe some stickers. Um, I think I want to do all of them in a sort of a neutral black and white tone. I think I think. I really think I'm going to do that. Uh, I have several books that I want to use for images. I have this one. This is an old Dutch encyclopedia. Uh, you don't need to have this uh, particular one. But most encyclopedia. I also have uh, the Britannica Dictionary. Um, that has images in them. I know Webster's Dictionary has images in them. If you have La Petite, uh, Petite La Rousse. That's a great one. Uh, let me show you what I mean. They have like these small images. Well, they have the big ones, but also these. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a postage stamp to me already. So I want to use a couple of these images. Um, I've used these before. I just really like them. So images from dictionaries or encyclopedias. <clears throat> then I have this one, a very old book uh, with small black and white illustrations. We all love the colored illustrations, I know, but most of the time we are left and some of the time in the back of a book with beautiful colored illustrations. Then in the back they have these black and whites and what you use them for? Well, well, you can use them for this. So some black and white illustrations. Then I have one of my favorite books, which is this one. If you can find this one, buy it. 
it is fantastic um these ha the, these have all sorts of uh, images in them smaller ones i'm not gonna use a gun of course <laughs> uh but you know i can probably can find something that is uh, a sort of a nice image a smaller one that i can use i have this one this is um Leonard de Vries, you know, my favorite author of all time. Um, and have all these advertisement pieces. And I love adver advertisements. So maybe I can use some small pieces of this. And this is an another Leonard de Vries that also has beautiful black and white sort of drawings in them. And we can probably use a bit of these. One, I think. So black and white book images or... Um, I also have stickers. I have these uh, stickers. And I think that'll be great on one of the poster stamps. Yeah. So black and white images. If you want to do the colored ones, then you do colored images. To finish off the poster stamps, um, I want to add a number. Yes, because every poster stamp uh, has like, uh, well, the, the price on it, what it costs, like three cents, 60 cents, or two dollars, or two D. Well, so very expensive post stamps. This has 60 as well. And then some of them have this sort of um, partial postage stamp. Stamp <laughs> doesn't make any sense. I hope so. For that, I am going to use a couple of set stamp sets that I have with numbers and that are specifically designed for poster stamps, like these. See, these look like. Um, that you find on poster stamps. So I'm going to use these, this, and I'm going to use um, oh this. Yeah, I have the, these are rub-ons in gold, and I thought that would look very nice with uh, the black and white sort of. So I think I want to use some of this. I also have these. I don't know. It says postage. Maybe I can sort and card postal. That would look so nice on a poster stamp. I think. Um, and for the other stamps, I'm going to use a Tim Holtz set. This one, my beloved Eccentric, because it has six and a quarter cents on here. Perfect. And, ladies, I have replaced Ticket Booth with the real one. So I have the real one now. Um, I love this one, the fake one, uh, but I'm very happy to have the real one. Why did I buy the real one? You guys are such a, such a lot of support on my Kofi account. I love you guys and everything i make there i'm going to invest in craft supplies that i can sort of use and make videos with so i have a list of people that i'd like to thank i like to thank linda deb terry ramona another terry wanda denise and sheree thank you guys so much for all your donations and um your support on uh, my coffee account so thank you thank you if you want to uh support my Kofi, it's linked below and there's also some lovely sort of digitals that you can get there so uh other than that i'm going to use glue i'm going to use my paper cutter mm, that's it i guess yeah so finally let's get started i decided to use this as uh, my base so i already did all of them guys well i have nine i think well, well we have enough for now so these are my bases yeah, so I use the die cut machine for this. You can do this with scissors. Uh, let me give you some measurements. This is two by two inches, probably, sort of. Yeah, let's say two by two. Yeah, two, two inches. So what I want to do is make the next layer a little bit smaller. Yeah, um, I did some sort of measuring and cutting already. So it's going to look like this. This is the second layer. I marked it on my chopper because it's not one and three quarters. It's between one and three quarters and two inches. So I just put a tiny mark. Look, put a tiny mark with my pencil. So I want to make strips first using the black sort of cardstocky thingy. Be sure to have it straight. There you go. So. And they need to be square, so I'm just flipping them around and make some more. I'm sorry, I need to see where the camera is. So these now are tiny little, well, not tiny little squares that we are going, going to glue on here, yeah? 
so I already have six, so I need three more. That looks crooked to me. Well, I can tell you, not all my cutting devices can be crooked. It's probably me. Yeah. Let's do one, just in case. One more. So I will have time. Yeah. So I have a bunch of these now. And it's also a very good way to use up your black paper, black cardstock. Yeah. So I have these. And these, now we need to find some nice images. Now I did already sort of pick out some images, otherwise this video will be like four days long. Um, the problem with this book was, I love this book, but the size that I have chosen for my stamp doesn't really go well with the size of all the images that are in here. However, I did want to use one of them because this is Anne Boleyn. Yeah love her um, but if we put her on here it's way too black so what i did was i from the same book i just made this square the square is smaller than this one yeah so these were like uh, in between uh, one and three quarters and two and these ones are one and three quarters so less than one eighth of an inch so if we glued on here see you just see a tiny little black border this is all that i need to see i don't need to have like these big sort of borders no so what i did was i cut this out i'm going to glue her on here and then going to glue her on here like so or maybe even well probably in the middle yeah and then do some stamping so that's what i did with this book so i didn't take any more out of this book because that is a lot of work then these came from the uh, botanical book really lovely already cut them to size and then this one came from the leonard the freeze book uh, but i have some more images that i want to cut to size on camera with you with you guys this com uh, came from the sears and row book i think that'll look wonderful and it has 40 cents on here i'm just using this as a sort of a guide um, how big it will be and will the image fit and the image will fit so i think i'm gonna use this gentleman with the hat it's a regulation army brown duck hat okay and and this came from a book from leonard de vries i really love the ladies so i think i want to have two ladies on here or these two or these two or these two well, whatever kind really lovely and then for the stickers i have an idea for the stickers let me show you because you know a boat needs to be sailing um i'm not gonna glue it on here it needs to have a little bit of a backing so i took out this little book that i bought recently i only have one of these so i'm debating if i want to cut in, into it but i think i'm gonna uh they have all these very tiny very old sort of maps see that uh, and some of them have like here uh this is america with c and i was thinking have this as a background then this and then the post stamp make the post stamp out of this does that look nice i think it looks amazing so yeah that's what i want to use for these but first let's just sort of start cutting into these because we need to make these two size yeah I am going to roughly cut this one first. Because I want to use this image. Yeah. I am going to take off everything above the 40 cents. There we go. How long is it now? It needs to be one and three quarters of an inch. We're going to lose a little bit of his tie, but that's okay. I really want the 40 cents on here. So this is the height. Let's see. Oh yeah. Well, that works really well. And then we're going to cut these off. So yeah, this is going to go on here. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do uh, one of these. 
Um, again, I'm using this as sort of a template. If I put this here. Yeah, we have the lady's head on and a couple of owls. So I'm first going to... Mm, I need to lose a little bit of the bottom. I want to have as much as I can of the image on here. That wasn't straight at all. Oh, lovey. Cut things straight. See, I'm even bad at cutting with my cutting machine. Um, what is... One and three quarters. No, I need to lose a little bit of this as well. Oh, precise cutting. Not my hobby. Well, it is what it is. Are we going to lose the lady's head? We are not. Okay, a lot of cutting for such a small piece. I am sorry. I'm rubbish at this. But I do like it. Yeah. And then for the last one. The biocorf is... Um, it translates to... Beehive. I'm sorry. I had to sort of think. It translates to beehive. And it is, I think, the largest department store in the Netherlands. Um, let's see, let's do this first. Are we going to lose all the lovely writing here? Well, you know, that happens. And over here. Lovely ladies. Yeah, it's a big department store. They sell everything. Um, what can you compare it with? I'm not really familiar with big department stores. It's sort of fancy. It's sort of fancy. So with this one, this one. This one. Lovely man with the hat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was one more. Somewhere. I have nine. I have nine now. So we need to glue them down. You're probably going to ask me for some measurements. So I'm going to give them now. This is two inches, two by two. Yeah, everything is square. This is one and seven eighth of an inch. And then this is one and three quarters of an inch. Yeah, so it's two, one se and seven eighth and one and, a, and three quarters. So hopefully you get a chance to write that down. What I want to do, the pieces, these pieces are going to be glued on here. And this is going to be glued on there. I'm going to do that in that order as well. But I do want these to sort of be inked a little bit. I'm using tea dye for this. Yep. And then I'm just going to glue them on. I am going to use normal um, glue stick for this. Not anything fancy. And you can also do this, of course, with butterflies and flowers and all sorts of loveliness. I just wanted to do something black and white. Oh, already looks so lovely. Let's just do all of these. The lovely ladies. Oh, speaking of department stores. Yes, I had a little sort of think about it. The Biocorp, the, uh, our big department store, can be sort of compared to Macy's. Macy's in um, the US and um, I think Harrods in um, in England and if you're from Spain El Corte Inglés yes I know that one in Spain there you go ah oh, these ones with the with the oceans and stuff are so so nice Yes, I did cut into that book. Hopefully, I will find another copy. And what I will do is check my girlfriends on Instagram, who also sell lots of things. 
I will contact them like um, Sandra from Old Made Awesome and Ellen's Little Treasures. All my friends there, if they by chance have that book for me so I can buy another copy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I already like this one. I'm going to do this side. Yes. Now, how will you use the, the poster stamps? Well, they can be nice as a decoration, a decoration on tags and such. Uh, but you can also use them as talk spots or, you know, it's an embellishment. Or you can even use them as tabs. That'll also be nice. I think I need to change out my glue stick. Be sure when you glue them on that all the edges are sort of equal divided. Well, try to, try to do that. Is that see? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, and I didn't even ink this one. Stupid me. I was way too busy with thinking about uh, my glue stick. But there you go. I need to change out my glue stick. Uh, normally, I would just reach behind me, but you know, I've moved my desk, so I need to go to the other side of the room. I'll be right back. And I'm back. New glue stick. Um, I inked all around these. Yes. For these, uh, are these are a little bit darker. So I've used uh, frayed burlap for that one because tea dye really doesn't show up. So yeah, I'm going to glue these down as well. Oh, look at the back. Don't look at the back. Don't look at the back, though. I have to look at the back, otherwise I cannot put glue on it. But hey, look at the front. Yeah, much nicer. There you go. And this one with two cats. I believe these are cats. They don't look really happy, so they're not my cats, because my cats are really happy, I can tell you that, because, you know, everything in this household revolves around the cats. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, you own a dog, uh, a cat owns you. It's like, I'm their sort of... Staff. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear her snoring? <laughs> She's lying beside me again. Yeah. The big red one. Why I have one? Why? Oh yeah, I had one spare. I was like, why do I have one left? What happened? Well, you had one spare. I'm first going to do uh, this one. I'm going to glue this one on. I was actually looking for Elizabeth, for Sissy, um, in the encyclopedia, but there wasn't a picture of her. I just saw uh, The Empress on um, uh, Netflix, liked it. I just like sort of um, these period pieces. Yeah, I love the fashion, the clothing. I don't know, however, how accurate the clothing was in um, that series. I have sort of doubts. Sort of doubts. And there you go. Well, here they are. All of them. Now, I have these boats. Uh, and if I sort of um, glue the boats on, they're a little bit, I believe, too white. So what I want to do is ink them lightly this is with tea dye just gonna sort of try to have them less white see they look a little bit better now well well i think so so let's glue these on oh aren't these lovely 
love them which one goes where i think this one goes here and then this one goes here yeah need a pin i think these are going to be my favorites Lovely! I just love it. I don't have any more boat stickers. You know what that means? I need to go on AliExpress and find more boat stickers. <laughs> oh, I, I received a package this morning from my uncle Ali's. Yeah, let me quickly show you. This. It's a mini brayer. It's rubbish, it's, of course, because, you know, it costs nearly nothing. But I just wanted to try this. Um, I, I was waiting for this one because I have the die set from Tim Holtz. This one. Yeah. And I saw him sort of demonstrate this. And if you want this inked, you need to use a brayer. So I ordered a brayer. So now I can finally use that die set. This is sticking out, we do not want that. So I need scissors, very small ones. <laughs> Can you hear my cat? <laughs> She's snoring like an old man. A lot of questions about these scissors. It's like sort of tweezers and scissors. I've bought them uh, ages ago. This is the brand, maybe you can find some. I like these. A bunch. Yeah. So the second layer is on. Let's put this on the actual stamp. Right, there we go. These have like a top side and a bottom side. So I put them all in the right order because I'd use die cut on this. If you used scissors, probably doesn't have an upside or a downside. There you go. Again, be sure to leave enough room on all four sides oh lovely yeah i like them i like them this is one of the boat ones yeah these are fantastic if i do say so myself i already am really in love with these and I'm going to use this on them. Oh, oh, it's going to be so nice. I'm sorry. I'm excited. And then I'll probably hoard them. Yeah, I won't use them. It, this is almost like label making. Sort of the same idea. And you know, I love them. I love making labels. If you're watching now, you're like, hmm, maybe I should try it. You should. This is so much fun. And Berlin. And another one of these. This leaves a lot of room to do some of the rub-ons or the stamping especially these fantastic i'm gonna do the last three off camera and then uh, we're going to uh, do something with these and with the stamps Okay, here they are. I really want to start with, with these two, with the boat ones. Oh, I love them. Have I told you that I love them? I love them so much. Yeah. So I have these two sort of rub-on sheets. And I, I think I want to use this on here. I think that will look amazing in the corner. 
So what I'm going to do is just snip these. Yep. Then I'm going to take the backings off. Well, hopefully, yeah. There they are. Place them in this top top corner. And then with a bone, bone folder, I'm going to rub them on because they're called rub-ons. Shall I zoom you in a little bit? Hello! Yes, I've have, had these for a while. Uh, they, they came with, of course, AliExpress, some uh, black ones and some gold ones. And I'm like, when am I going to ever use the gold ones? Well, today is the day. Are they on? They are. It looks so cool. Look at that. Do we want something here? This says postage. I'm, I'm going to try it. Postage. Well, there's no number on here then. We'll find some. Yep. I'm sorry I cannot put um, links for AliExpress. Uh, because most of it I bought like years ago. So lovely. Just one number. I just want. To... Well, let's do four. But if it's still av available, I can give you some words to, that you could use. Like Robbins Gold. Just, you know. If they are still available, you'll probably find it under Robbins Gold. I'm going to have this four over here. Postage, four. Do we love it? Well, I do. I do. Let's do the other boat. Let's have some more. Um, I'm going to have a bigger one. But yeah, let's have a bigger one on here. They are attached to each other, but... You know, that's not going to stop me from cutting them apart. No, because I just want one. amazing they look amazing do we want something up there first day of issue that's a very special stamp right yeah um i'm gonna use that on here yeah i'm not gonna use all these lines am i no just two of them You can come off now, backing. Yeah, really. It's safe. I checked. Well, if you won't listen, I'll give you a hand. Sticking you with a pin now. There we go. First day of it. Well, you won't really see it. Because it's such a busy background. But it's the, you know, it's the thought that counts. I know it's on there. Closely, you'll see nothing. <laughs> but that's okay. I still love them. Great. Let's do something else with uh, with the other ones. I really love this effect very much. So I'm going to do some more with the rub -ons. Besides, you know, this is a perfect way to use them. 
and otherwise they're going to go back into a drawer somewhere for years more to come and I won't use them so I better use them now perfect then I have two here I have a number one oh <laughs> or you could take off the backings first yeah You can rub whatever you want, but it won't come off, love. Well, it came off on the backing now, of course, yeah. So not smart. That's okay, because it looks a little bit tattered now, so. I did also think about some sort of uh, splattering on it to make them look a little bit more aged i guess still thinking about that one pound very expensive a uh, postage stamp this yeah there you go oh yeah also with this one that you cannot see lucky because it's upside down yeah Oh, there's some gold on there. One pound. Then this is going to be two, two something. Are we going to use my stamps? Yes, yes, yes. Still also going to use my stamps. There's one. Let's do the other one as well. And there's two. It's some gold script and sort of a seal. Oops, is it on there? Yep, it is. And then this whole bit for Anne Boleyn. I'm not going to put it on Anne Boleyn, but I'm going to put Anne Boleyn in between the gold and the gold stripe. It's almost like it's supposed to be there. Well, hopefully. Yep. Then we have these two over here. But ladies, I'm going to do some stamping on top. I have no clue how long this video is. See, there's a rub on, on my finger. How did that happen? Probably from the one, yeah. Thinking, will they show up? Oh, a little bit. want to have some gold on here and the last one for the guy in the brown duck head so uh what's a duck head used for to you know hunt ducks or it's an army hat what i help me understand There you go. Is everything on now? Everything is on. Shall we do some stamping? Let's do some stamping. So I took out some stamps that I think will work. Uh, I am going to put something underneath though. There you go. Let's start with this one. I have the Tim from the eccentric set, the Tim Holtz stamp. I think I'm going to stamp sort of in the corner I'm using Black Archive for this. Trying first. Yep, yeah, that works. In the corner and i'm also gonna do something of this like the blah, 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 bits <laughs> you know these bits does that work it does it does let's see i have another one these are came all from different stamp sets so i cannot really tell you where these came from 
other than probably AliExpress. Yeah, they look so real. I think I want to have this Tim Holtz one again on here. And there. With this on top. Almost like a real poster stamps. I'm going to have a small one on here somewhere. Don't even know what this says, but... Yep, and then... Can we do this? So cute. So, so cute. I have another one. Let's see. Yep. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to have this one because it sort of has a crown. And I thought it was very fitting for Anne Boleyn. Lovely. Another one of these ships. I have this one. Already has sort of the scribbly bits on there. Love it. And the last one, what we're going to have on here, the crown one again. One pound. There you go. Oh, it looks so lovely. I think I'm going to ink all around them. I did all the inking. Yes, there's one more thing that I want to add. I want to add my splatter stamp. I have gotten so many questions about these where did you get them well this is actually from a fake uh, tim holt stamp set but i looked up the real set it's called tiny toadstools i believe it's from tim holt it's an old one it comes with well this one probably a little bit bigger so i love this one what i want to do is um do something more with gold on here i don't have gold ink or anything but i do have this this is a set from Action. It's metallic watercolor paint. Yeah, including a water brush. So what I do is, hopefully, is there any more water in here? Hopefully there is. I just put paint on an acrylic block that you use for stamping. Like so. Yeah. And then I take out my stamp. Sort of stamp in it. See, like so. And then, and then you stamp. Ta-da. See? Now it has some gold splatters. <laughs> or you could do real splattering. I'm not going to do that because of messy. Oh, I do love the gold splatters on here. Just some of them. There you go, Emberlyn. Some gold for you. And one more. Did I already do the cats? No, he didn't do the cats. There you go. Just something here and there. Lovely. Does it need anything more? No, 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 no. Don't touch them again. Don't touch them again. I think, I think we're done. Let's look at the end result. Here they are. I made nine. I love them. Did I tell you that I love them? I love them a lot. Let's just, you know, check them out. These are the ladies from the Bicorf, also known as Macy's or, you know, Harrods. I love it. Look at the gold splatter. It's just an extra sort of touch. And then, you know, my favorite ones with the boat. Aren't these great? Yeah. I'm going to call them faux antique postage stamps. I love them with the flowers. So cute. It's a great way to use up your black and white images. Looks really, really special, doesn't it? Yeah, it's and this one's one pound. It's a very expensive one. Yeah, I absolutely adore them. And Boleyn. Yeah, great. And the other boat one. Oh, so cool, right? Yeah. I, I knew I was going to use, um, I said I was going to use some more of my Tim Holtz set, but you know, 
I just love the gold Robin so much. So, and the last one, the man, you know, his name is John in a brown dog head. Yeah. So here you are. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, if you're thinking maybe I should make some, make some. You don't need a die cut set or anything. Just, you know, um, one of these scissors or maybe have another sort of die that sort of resembles this. It doesn't need to be a post-it stamp. It just needs to be lovely like this. Guys, let me know because I want to make more. I think I want to make more, but then with colors in them. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you want to see one with some more color in them. Yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Don't know what yet. Let's see. Every day is another surprise. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.